A lot of people start to develop um, elbow pain and wrist pain from squatting, and that's generally due because the angles, those joints are at very sharp spots when you back squat, and you start to carry a lot of that weight from the bar into your hands, and that can create a lot of stress on those joints when they're already at a compromised angle. So there's a few different grips that you can use on the bar that are advanced that can help alleviate some of that pain. The most common grip you see on the squat is when people go with a thumb around. That thumb around is great if you can do it. It'll create the most stability, the most bar control, and the most security with the bar on your back. If you have trouble getting your grip width in, one way to help get it in and maintain that tightness is to go thumbless. So if this is as narrow as you can grip the bar with your thumb around, if you go thumbless, you'll generally be able to get a few more inches in, which, is, which can be ideal. It's something you'll have to experiment with, whether you prefer a wider grip with thumb around or a narrower grip with thumbless and see what feels more controlled, solid, and secure on your back. The last grip, which I don't strongly recommend in competition, um, is what I call the koala grip. This really helps if you start to get severe elbow pain from the squats, which is pretty common. So if you start getting severe elbow pain or even shoulder pain, I call this the koala grip and it, it helps quite a bit. So it's thumbless, but now you put your pinky under the bar and carry it like this. It may take some getting used to, and again, I don't recommend it in competition and depending on your federation, it might not be allowed, but this, this pinky under while thumbless grip, it takes a ton of the stress off of the tendons, ligaments, and nerves that go through the elbow. So if you have bad elbow pain, it's certainly worth trying what I call the koala grip.